Hi, everybody. It's Heidi at Hen and Chick Studio. How are you all doing this afternoon? I have been having fun. I have fun every day. What day don't I have fun? But I have been having fun looking at all sorts of fabrics this afternoon. You know, I think you guys always enjoy the unboxings that we do when the fabric arrives. And I wonder if you wonder what it's like to actually shop for fabric. So I am, I've got some difficult decisions this afternoon because you're gonna find this hard to believe, but I can't buy everything. Dang it, where is the money that's growing on trees? Because I have not found that tree yet. And so I need to enlist your help this afternoon as to which fabric collections I may or may not get. And I'm telling you, these are hard choices because again, I'd love to have them all. So um, I want your, I feel like we're gonna be one of those game shows where um, you know they have hidden buttons. And when I say go, you're gonna say that, you know, you, which button, you know, which number of collections. I've got four collections that I'm gonna show you. These are all from Benertex. Um, and we have a lot of Benertex fabric in the store um, and enjoy all that. And uh, two of the sales, uh, manager reps, we can call you all sorts of things, um, that uh, are with are traveling today and um, stop by to show me fabric. So, and you, you know, if you're watching this, you might wanna share it with your friends real quick because the more power of which ones you select might influence um, what it is I buy. So you might wanna hit the share button, uh, tag your friends, Text was it? Call a friend, text a friend, and say, "Get on Hen and Chick Studio Facebook right now and help us pick out uh, fabric collections." So, uh, are you ready? Give me some thumbs up. Are you ready to do some fabric shopping? And I do need to make a disclaimer. Um, even if you love all four of these collections, I may not buy able to buy all four. Okay, I got a thumbs up. Anybody? All right, all right, you're coming. Give me some thumbs up that you're ready to go fabric shopping, okay? So you guys can pretend that you have all the money in the world. No problem, all right? And, um, but I wanna hear, I wanna hear honestly. You like it, don't like it, you know, uh, you know, would you know what to do with it? All that kind of stuff, okay? So we are gonna start with fabric collection number one. And I'm gonna, um, give me a second here. Let me turn. All right, Sandy is ready for us. So the first collection that I am going to show you is At Home by Cherry, um, or Sherry uh, Goodry, I think is how you say Goodry. it, correct? Of uh, Cherry Blossom Studio. We've had some of her fabric um, in the studio as well. And this one's called At Home. So let me open it up. And I'm going to give you, we're calling this collection number one. Okay, so this is collection number one. So when I get, um, me, let me go big here. Uh, oh, that might have that might not have worked to gone sideways. Sorry, um, you might have been might go turn on your head. But they show me lots of fabric. So this collection has how many skews, Shelley? It's Thirty-one in the collection. Thirty-one in the collection. Okay, yeah. and so uh, Jeremy knew the answer to that. Good job, Jeremy. Thank you you win. Ready. You win the prize and for. Okay, so there's a cool stripe. There's no panel with this. I love this little piece um, because I think it just looks very quilty. There's some nice lights prints. There's some gray, some yellows, some brights. I love that. Okay, so this is collection number one. And, uh, you've got, uh, do you have a, a project that they used in there? Many projects. So this is the first one. Okay, so and these are patterns that I would have a choice of picking with the houses. So as you keep in mind, start taking notes, the ladies, uh, as to uh, which you know collection, if you like, oh my gosh, I like that pattern. So really cute, that one's called Family. It's got a real, ooh, spring bouquet, lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely. Almost looks a little bit reproduction. Yes. Yeah, it's got some good, yes. good quilting in there. And here we have another one, that's very nice. That's one of her favorite patterns to do, the tulip leaves. And this one, I think is, Spectacular. And is that all applique, applique then? Applique, you betcha. And she's, what print is she taking to make that applique? And by the way, with her patterns, um, they're SVG, so you can do these in the hoop. They're very easy to do. 
very, very, very easy. Somebody said they, uh, Dolores said she loves, and she's one of our regulars from uh, Alaska. She oh, wow. likes um, the family is forever. Which one's that? That's the second one we showed. Is that the second one? Oh, yeah, that is. Family is forever. Awesome. All right, did we miss any there? We'll go back yeah. through them real quick. Okay, again. so here we go. This is At Home. The collection is called At Home. That's Spring Bouquet. And so she's actually on the next one. She's using the individual fabrics. Mm -hmm. She's not fussy cutting um, a, a specific fabric. She's just using those to create the applique. And these will be 3D, so you can you can actually oh, cool. have these as, as loose leaf if you wish. Cool. And then cool. This one I love. Very good. Okay. okay. That that. This just is a picture of Cherry, oh, and you yes. can see some of the other collections, uh, a lot of which you've carried in your store. Yes, so they're here absolutely. We have chips. the Words to Quilt By is one of yeah. our recent favorites. We've got several of those things. Oh, and Jackie likes Spring Bouquet. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, ladies, this is collection number one, all right? Now we're going to move on to collection number two. And uh, they were telling me that uh, the next three designers are fairly new designers to... Um, Benetex, 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 Canvas, and Contempo. So yes. you can only find our fabrics in independently owned and operated quilt, fabric, and machine stores. We do that's, not sell to the chain stores. So these a, are all premium quality that's fabrics. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so this is called On the Farm. And... Um, by uh, Terry Runyon. Yeah, by Terry Runyon. Okay, and you all are going to know why I love this particular <laughs> collection. And one of the reasons um, I do like the specifics is that she combines, um, I would refer to it as mixed media artwork mm -hmm. um, into her fabrics. So I'm gonna pull up, yes, like look at the pig. He's got text in him. And then when and you look at the chickens, they also have like text in them. And so they look like they've got um, different layers in those. And don't you and love little the little chicks? Yeah. I mean, who can't love um, all of those? Again, this is a um, collection. How many SKUs in this one? How many pieces? This is only about 15 pieces in this collection. Yeah, so it's not a big there collection. A, there's a picture of the project here. Oh, a nice, simple, very nice, simple project. Very clean. Yep, very and clean. It's a good use of those little all over uh, random dots. Really, yes. Really creates and, and sets the blocks apart. Now I don't know what how my camera is coming through for all of you, but one of the things that really um, strikes me in this collection is the use of color, and they're not certainly there's black and white, but we've got this teal and then kind of a a green yellow. Uh, you know I love red, and so we've got some good reds going on here, but this is actually a little more pink. Um, so anyway, I like I like all of the colors. So this is collection number two. All right. So um, again, that is on the farm from Contempo, and that's okay. So now we're going to go to collection number three. We're going to go to this one, and we're going to show you. This is called Folkscapes by Carla Gerard. Am I saying that right? Yes, indeed. There's and twenty pieces in this collection. Twenty pieces in this collection. Okay. So this collection. And um, when we see it, like, for example, this is paper for all of you. To, if you're wondering, like, am I looking at um, fabric? This is actually paper that we're looking at. Um, very good quality. Uh, but yet then they have some samples of the fabric on the same card. But to give us a really good example, Shelly's got um, here the, the panel in real life um, so that we can see uh, the artwork and uh, the detail of what we're what we would be getting in real, and I love the little black crow. I have a friend that would love the little black crow in there. So this is he's in all of them. All right, and Cindy, I see that you're loving this. I loving the collection. I'm assuming that this is collection number three, Folkscapes, and we're gonna go back over. But I want you to remember which ones you're liking. You go ahead and show us the stripe on that too. And you know, do you tend to use blocks, uh, pre-printed blocks like these panels in your quilts, um, you know, about the, do you like the stripes? Tell me, okay, you can go ahead and do it. Yep, look at that fun stripe. That's a different piece. 
I think some customers may also use the blocks, though. Uh, they may use them on larger purse patterns. Yes. They may use them for yep. pillows, for placemats, tabletop. Yep, isn't that cute? People are making more practical things that they can use around their homes or gift to a friend or family or Absol loved one. Absolutely. But there is a quilt project as well, and there it is, using the blocks. That is awesome. Very good. Okay, this is... Um, collection number three, Folkscapes. And we'll go back before the final voting. We will come back and look at them all again. There's 20 SKUs in there. In the Folkscapes, there's 20 SKUs? Okay. So uh, Shelly is bringing out to me uh, Be the Light by Kelly Ray Roberts. And uh, Kelly Ray Roberts is a well-known artist. Uh, I'm going to say I've, I have many journals um, with her work on them. Mm -hmm. And so, again, a, a mixed media artist. Yep. And so there's different pieces with uh, butterflies up here, this kind of quilty looking um, look, some fun little details um, in the stripe um, fabric, I think. Uh, again, the words uh, that are, are here, words of truth um, in a couple different colors pieces there um, and then over here we have the panels now in this particular okay so again Shelly's gonna pull out the full panel um, her artwork has people in it if, if that's maybe the way to um, and she I love how she mixes words and flowers and almost like if as if it were paper um, that mixed media collage. collage there we go that's a good word uh, nice. she definitely has a sentiment of um, inspiration for girls, for young women. Strong women. Empowerment of young Empowerment, girls. that's a good yeah. word. And it's family orientated because it's it's believe. It's not religious, but it's family orientated sentiment, yep. building character, building confidence for young girls. Your story matters. I love that. Mm -hmm. Believe. Uh, may, may you choose light, live in it, surround yourself with it, be it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then here is a stripe that goes with it. And check out the detail in this bird. The hummingbird. It says, seek joy. So that is awesome. It's a bit like your necklace. It says, choose happy. That's exactly right. right. I'm yeah. always wearing my choose happy. They know that. I, yeah. I show it all the time uh, yeah. on, on air. Heard it. Yes. And so, uh, again, very fun. Embrace the journey. Love that piece. Mm -hmm. All right. And what's and the is, last? It's also available in the second and color And that's a second way. color way. And then here's the project hiding. Okay. So that's using the panel just as a center block with no nothing yep. doing. But um, some of your more accomplished quilters, they may uh, do a little bit of thread painting. They may do some outline quilting. Could uh, embroider on could it. Certainly embroider and embellish. Mm -hmm. There may be some OESD embroidery programs built around some of these designs. Kelly Ray is from Sisters, Oregon, as some of your viewers may know. And so she's very artsy, and she also has some line extensions into paper goods and giftware using some of this imagery. So that's, awesome. that's always a great way for uh, customers to sort of build their quilts and their projects. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to um, put, this is number four. Let's bring back in the order that we did. There's number, okay, so this is four. Be the Light is number four. Folkscapes by Carla Gerard is number three. And Sandy, I know it's not an easy choice because I have to do this every time a fabric sales rep comes. Um, and then we have at home number one. So again, at home is number one. On the farm is number two. Folkscapes is number three. And Be the Light is number four. So what I want to hear from you is... Um, which one is your favorite? And uh, do, do you two want to get in as you as you? So there, there, you guys get it. Right, there, there we go. We got uh, uh, Jeremy and Shelly. There we go. Get everybody in. I got to get my angle right. And they are from um, the Benner Tex Company. I've known both of them for quite some time for very um, various reasons. Um, anyway, it is a lot going on. I see you all putting your answers in, and I love it. And okay, so if, if make sure you put down your first choice, which is your first choice of those collections that you would want, um, and give me any insight um, uh, as you want. And Jackie, I love it. I think at home looks just like you, so that's awesome. And it's fun to see um, several of you um, 
Oh, and, and your accent is British. Am I correct? It's not Australian. Oh, Australian. Right. No, it is British. She, British. He is. Yes. Dolores, oh. he is. He is a Brit. Uh -huh. And um, so, yes, that is uh, what we've got um, going on today. Good job, Yes. <laughs> and uh, anyway, and so, again, this post, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, hold out hope that in the next 24 hours, that we can share this on Instagram and also on our Facebook page and see what kind of reaction and which fabric collection you want. In the meantime, I have to continue the very difficult work, very, very difficult work of picking out more fabrics. Um, I can show you. Do you have the, the one I bought the entire collection of? Uh, just a, the basics? The, you know, so, of course, we've always got these fun, these fun... Um, uh, pieces where they're, they're uh, how do you want to say, they're main, you know, pieces. But here's a collection that I bought that I think is a great staple. So here's something I've already bought. Let me turn the camera around again. Here we go. Okay. And everybody always needs basics. And I loved this collection. Um, oh, and Cindy, I love the fact that you gave me the, or, the in order. Um, that's even, uh, even better. Oh, good, Jackie, you're adding in there. Yes, give me the order that you like. I love it. But I did order this collection as a good group of basics because I feel like um, our color wall is always in need of that next piece that's going to coordinate um, with something that we do. Oh, and yes, let's show them. Um, there are a lot of, you can put it out here. You're good. So I also ordered, um, people are wanting baby flannel. And this is probably my favorite baby flannel collection that I've seen. So I've ordered all of this. And this is supposed to come in June, correct? Correct. Yep. So this is all coming. So if you are going to be making baby quilts in the very near future, we have got all these cute pieces coming. There is something in there for every um, uh, colorway, whatever you want to go, whether you want to go with um, what is the new color, Jeremy? Well, a modern yeah. quilt is like the gray and yellow combination, and they refer to that as grello. Grello. There you, right? there you go. You just learned a new term today. Mm -hmm. So we've got lots of things happening here at Head and Chick Studio. Please um, enlist your friends. Uh, if you know somebody that quilts and would love to put their two cents in as to what we're getting here at Head and Chick Studio in Conrad, Iowa, I would love to have you share this post with them and get their put um, input as well. And uh, and they're liking the Gorello. Uh, color so or the colorway so that's mm -hmm. awesome all right do we, do we need to review them one more time so you know I'm gonna give you one last one last look okay so here we go I'm gonna turn it back number one is at home and just very quickly it had cute bicycles flowers had some cute pieces to it that's number one number two is on the farm and this was the uh, mixed media animals but with the cute chickens, mm -hmm. with the chicks on them, we love all of those. Stop influencing them by now. Oh, I'm sorry. Chickens. I'm sorry. I should. I should not be uh, influencing you at all. <laughs> Folkscape by Carla Gerard, and this one had a block panel, uh, much brighter, bolder colors. Had some great um, coordinating pieces in here as well. So that one is certainly fun and different. And then last but not least at all is Be the Light by Ke Kelly Ray Roberts. And again, sort of a mixed media uh, empowerment, uh, women, uh, women's empowerment. Again, some fun pieces uh, that kind of look quilty. Uh, and I think one of the favorite pieces was the, the, the birds. And the oh, birds. You like the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds was a favorite on there. So let's look at those. Yep, they are pretty. You okay. could get some metallic threads. You could uh, do a little bit of thread painting in there and really embellish that. You really could. Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for helping me make these difficult decisions. And I will report back at some point what did get ordered. Uh, might be when the fabric comes in and we do an unboxing so you can see what it is. Uh, but in the meantime, again, one, two, three, four. Put down in, uh, in the order that you want them. And we'll see what I can do. Have a great day, everybody.